Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2. You're not going to be the least bit surprised to see this Terran player in the red in the top left of Babylon here. It is Micro Jackson. It's beyond. But who could challenge a player of such caliber? Well, I think we have uh, a worthy challenger. The finisher, Serral. Both world champions at different times still both near or at the very tippy top of their game they've played some incredible series before and also some uh concise ones i'm not sure what this is gonna be this best of three but so far beyond comes in it was actually a pool first out of serral and uh, got some zerglings across the map which leaves him with precious few at home. So he has to micro some of the drones away from the initial Reaper here. But if you like series that start dramatic, that, that are action-packed, and one Reaper grenade away from tilting towards disaster, well, if you haven't already figured out, I'm going to ask you to like and subscribe. But thank you for tuning in. I believe this is from the Basilisk Big Brain Bouts, the newest member of Team Basilisk. Uh, quite a pickup, Serral himself. So uh, looking to defend himself essentially against the, the world, which so far, besides the literal end of it, Ragnarok, uh, he has quite capably been able to do recently. Well, no Zergling speed yet for Serral. He's got 200 gas in the bank, which is a bit of an odd choice. Still kind of keeping his option. Okay, Beyond. Was it worth it? Oh, good. Kills the space chicken. As well, the queens don't like being reminded of how they are essentially flightless birds. A roach horn is on the way. Cyril did mine all that gas, but he hasn't opted for zergling speed, and I think that is very intention. As the overlord gonna come floating in. What is Cyril? Uh, nothing to be seen here. That nothing might be something in and of itself. There's already a roach horn on the way which will leave him in a good position to deal with um to deal with the impending helmets and marines this is just a straight up how many command centers are we looking at we got two command centers this is a hell about pressure i've made my feelings about this sort of build known but if anybody can make it work it well it's probably cure actually but starting things off there are six roaches on the way the drones are on the run enough queens to stall this out for now Behind it, Banshees are in production, but the Queens are going to hold the top of the rep. Randa, move aside! The Roaches are coming in! Well, the Roaches are going to be more than enough to, to help defend this. And Cyril, I think, choosing wisely. If he had gone for Zergling speed, or if he had been relying even worse on just uh, Lings here, it could have been quite devastating. But instead, Beyond finds a handful of drones, if three is a handful. And, uh, maybe clear some creep? The key part of this, though, is that Beyond didn't have a third command center. He did not have that economic follow-up a lot of the time, you'll see, with a build such as this. Instead, he's got a Banshee, which will keep him alive, but it won't do much uh, to turn this into... Well, Hellions find another opportunity. Five kills. Seven, eight... Cyril surprisingly undefended. He knows those Hellions were still out there. I think I think Beyond actually added a few extras on. But Tendra, okay. Well, now that Cyril's at 43 drones, I'm going to go ahead and, and revise my statement. Because, obviously, the game itself has been revised. Very heatedly. Cyril's in, uh... Not nearly the commanding position he was. That's 10 drones at a key timing. Right as you're trying to build up uh, and get your, a, a comfortable drone count to build an army, that's when the Hellions came in and not only forced out more roaches, but killed Tundra. So uh, those are that's larva that Serral has to use to replace those drones. That's a lot of time lost that he could be sending the roaches across the map. Uh, it's just a, a big hurdle for Serral to overcome. And going forward, and a very small hurdle, a change length <laughs> blocking the third command center for a moment there. But once again, the saving grace for Serral is that 
this was done without a, a quick 3cc build. So, and without it, that means Sarah's able to get up to 69 drones and counting. Uh, and far outstrip beyond for at least a few more moments. Though, he won't be... He won't have a huge production advantage as we go into the mid-game here. As Beyond already has barracks 2 and 3 completed, he's got barracks 4 and 5 finishing up with their add-ons as well. They got all the fixins here. Honestly, Cyril, it feels like, has been watching a lot of Dark. And there are worse players to learn from. But we have Roach Hydra with Infestors on the way. Uh, which is a much more um, dark-esque composition, which sounds like a, a, a movie genre. Dark-esque. All right, it's buddy cop, except they're both bad cops. Or uh, um, it's a villain, and also his brother, who's also a villain, but he's younger and has a chip on his shoulder. Dark-esque. Rated PG. Moving on. Beyond has exactly what you'd expect Beyond to have, which is a bunch of marines and some tanks. With, with medevacs, of course. Whereas Cyril has Roach, Ravager, and Fester, with a Lurker Den on the way. So truly dark inspired. Plus one, plus one. Actually, a little quicker for Beyond. Oh, Banshee in vision range, taken out. That Spore Crawler helping out, so the Banshees have been eliminated, which allows Sarah to focus all his attentions. And maybe even some of the Queens more towards the front, but the tanks on the back line were not spotted. The Fungals, though, will slow down those Marines and make it that much easier to take them out. Standing his ground beyond. Eh. Well, he's getting what he can with the tanks, but the, the first Fungal really did grab so many of those Marines. He, he lost that critical mass that you really want to have. Uh, the critical mass of marines where essentially the medevacs can heal through the damage of the Roach Ravager. Uh, and, and that number, it really depends on how much Roach Ravager you're facing, but usually about 20, 30 marines is enough to just stand your ground with even upgrades. Uh, this is all just buying time. It, it's scanned here. Serral going for seismic spines, the lurker range upgrade. Spotted by Beyond, who, of course, is going to pick up and head for the main. But he's going to be shut down for now. As there was already some spore crawlers in position. A more turtle zerg sort of style. Oh, no! The fungals! Did he have two of them? Well, he picks up and he gets out. Wow. The disrespect, though. Gets a bit of a scout. Beyond realizing that Roach Ravager does not have any anti-air. Very aware of that. Its main strength is uh, the ability to kind of bully your opponent. It just has so much going for it in a straight-up fight. But what it doesn't have is that built-in anti-air or mobility. It, it can take unfair fights, but as soon as uh, Beyond has... has 2-2 two, two, and even army supply. If we get to that point, it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, oh, bro. Good set of fungals to start. Berkers will burrow. Siege tanks find one. There's a few more on the back line, though. Beautiful concave. Almost forced into it was beyond. All the lurkers are retreating. The bio army is not intimidated by these lurkers. A couple to the north side will slice through the front lines of the bio. And the lurkers will reposition. Adaptive talents. Has not been researched. The uh, lurker burrow speed and and just general speed. Kind of surprised he didn't queue that up, as that makes the lurkers a lot more maneuverable. I'd, I'd go so far as to call that a mistake, as even if you do go for speed first, you want that as quick as possible. But it doesn't matter if you're. Oh, it may have given beyond the few seconds he needed. Oh my god, what is he about? Don't do it! I... I don't know if I can condone this. Beyond, in typical Beyond fashion, fully commits. He drops around the lurkers, using the metavax to split. Was it worth it? I don't know. Was it dramatic? Definitely. And that's Beyond in a nutshell here. But that nut is being cracked open by the lurkers of Cyril as the third base. 
is now being evacuated. Some of the SCVs just standing around waiting to die. Beyond says it's not time yet. The Lurkers are closing in, but the Liberators are here, and there's no real built-in anti-air. Just a few Ravagers for corrosive bile. Sarah lands some fungals and slices through the Marauders as they wade through the fungals themselves. 13 SCVs down. Beyond has not given it up yet. He still has so many metapacks. The scan, splitting, stimming. The amount of units left in front of the Lurkers are minimal, but the amount of units Beyond has at all is the same. Still, though, picks up and evacuates some of the units. Beyond, it's still a, a concerningly high supply for where we are in the game. Gonna hold the third base. Beyond holds his ground. And he's losing most of it. The Lurker slicing through. A few ghosts about to come out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He walled in his own tanks, didn't he? Oh, there is no way you have seven tanks sitting around. Oh, but Beyond... Ah, uh, yes, the reserve tanks are finally called up. 100, I can't believe I missed that. But so did Beyond, apparently. I almost want to go back and see. But we can, I'm going to make some strong assumptions as to what happened. Oh, yeah, he definitely walled in his own tanks. Maybe there was a tank sieged that blocked them. But this is, this is the reason, uh, a quick aside here. This is why low-level games are so hard. Because in low-level games, you don't know if your opponent has 100 minerals or 10,000. This was a kind of the professional version of, of Bronze League Heroes here. Where Beyond, he walled in, like, eight of his own siege tanks. So Cyril's like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> like, where did all those tanks come from? Why didn't you have them earlier? And the beauty of it is, if he had those tanks earlier, then Cyril may very well have killed them in a more concerted push. But the fact they all kind of popped out like they were warped in. I can't, this was, oh my God, beyond turning a mistake into a turning of the tide here. Well, I don't think this this turns the game into beyond's favor, but clearly he's not dead anymore. It looked like we were kind of uh, working our way towards a GG there until an entire armored division came out of his main. I can't stress how both amused and surprised I am. And clearly everyone in the game as well. So here we are, Beyond Lips. And Cyril pulls back into a more standard army composition. And by that I mean, instead of roaches and ravagers, he's adding in lings and banes alongside those precious, precious lurkers. He wasn't able to close it out. Does he still not have adaptive to, okay, he got it, he got it, he got it. But. Uh, maybe a bit on the late side. Nidus Network on the way. Setting up potential vision inside the main base. Beyond, Betty on the command centers. Though getting a fifth base is going to be the hardest part of this game, I think. As despite him uh, still being alive, doesn't really have the bank. Or he doesn't have any leeway for mistakes here. Do you go to the north or the south? Because Cyril right now is comfortably mining from both on his side of the map. Beyond's going to have to make a decision sooner rather than later. Though, uh, I think we're going to worry most about the Nidus here. Oh my god! A Nidus defense bunker! Beyond! Both these players breaking out some... Uh, somewhat original... I've never seen this. I've never seen a bunker in the main for this purpose. But... The tactic bunker, and, and honestly, another Bronze League hero strat. It's like, well, why not build a bunker? Okay, the, the changeling's getting hunted by SCVs. And honestly, at some point, why not? Maybe not ten bunkers, but one or two bunkers dotting the field. Uh, they're not particularly expensive. They don't cost any supply in places like your main base, unless they end up walling in your siege tanks. And now he has those marauders. Ready to deal with it. The home defense marauders. Pop back into the bunker. Took out the... Ooh. Cyril's so good. I don't know how he does this. He always seems to find a spot with no detection. Then again, Beyond has not been building very many turrets. Ooh, he tried to take the north side. Cyril just runs right on by in order to dunk down the lurkers. Beyond is able to retreat for now, but the Banelings rolling in. The split is okay, but the Lurkers are slicing through. A lot of SCVs are going to go down. The surviving Roaches are being used 
to great effect actually killing some ghosts over to the south. Yeah, speaking of killing ghosts... Oh no, wait, the, that infester is in an awkward spot. He really wanted to use it to grab the ghost, but I think Cyril forgot about the infester. Uh, did all the ghosts die to roaches over here? Either way, before the infester can show up though, there's no detection, the cloak ghost just a firing squad. Guns down every important unit in the infester. Oh, a little late here. Suddenly, Beyond will... And, and, and Cyril didn't really make any efforts. See, Beyond picked up that command center, I think, and, and then dropped it right back down. But now, even though Cyril's maxed out, that was a strong... Oh, Tactinitis? He's using Nidus's just to move around the map. And also, uh, obviously, it creates a lot of stress for the Terran, but... Now, the army supply for Beyond is way higher. As... Cyril has 96 drones during all this. So many ghosts on the front line dying. Banglings rolling in, and Cyril's inexorable macro at work here. The planetary will go down. Beyond will survive. But at what cost? As once again... I don't know if the infester... Well, there's no more infester around. I didn't see any meaningful fungals, but 45... 45 more Banelings. Greater Spire on the way. We got some of those Hell Chats coming out. Does he have Blue Flame? He doesn't have Blue Flame. I'm not sure if plus three is enough to one-shot Zerglings um, on those Hell Bats, but... Beyond trying to reinforce the north side. Another Knight. He had to kill his own Nidus. In order to drop down the hatchery. <laughs> I'm going to put in another Nidus so he can move between. Very Brood War-esque. That is so many Banelings. But at the same time, the siege tanks are holding. The Banelings not quite able to close the distance with the majority of the ghosts. And that means the base will remain for now. But again, beyond. Beaten down to 120 supply. Sells at 99 drones. Which, Beyond has not been able to field enough army supply to make a difference. Oh no. An adrenaline almost takes out a surprising lack of defense. Cyril realizes, wait a second. Just one siege tank isn't going to be enough here. Oh my god, look at the damage. Oh my god. Wow. Fully upgraded Zerglings just shredding. Or maybe it's time to invest in building armor. Uh, you'd think by this point we'd have it, but Beyond has struggled to get anywhere above 150 supply. And here we go again. Another good EMP. Means that the ghosts are still in techno blinding cloud. And the snipes, actually the Hydra's getting in the way of the Banelings. Making it difficult, and that was the best fight so far. As Cyril has expended 7,000 more minerals. And 4,000 more gas in trying to break me on here. And now starting, you got to start rethinking it. I, he's got one or two more of those fights before Beyond is able to catch up in supply. And then it becomes a very difficult situation. Despite everything for Sarah. But we're not there yet. Still, Beyond is at 150 to 200, but 98 drones. I gotta continue to add. Beyond gonna cut down on that number. I'm not sure who that helps more. Marine slurped up by the medevac. Gonna head, well, wherever. Sales decided to just press the issue on the left side of the map. The Ghost Academy, yeah, that's the only one. It's gonna wanna rebuild that. Blue Flame starts. Planetary, the zoning planetary. Snipes to catch some of the retreating Hydralisks, but overall, Cyril's able to back off. Scan. Oh, he escaped the escape Nidus! Oh, it's, it's a, a very Brood War strategy. Yeah, you can just transfer drones. The quickest drone transfer. Even in this day and age. Well, I, I mean, I don't know how long strategies took to develop in Brood War, but that game is older than most StarCraft II pro gamers, so... Oh my god, the siege tanks! 
are irrelevant because of the blinding clouds. Well, there's still quite a deep tank line, but without any bio or anything to cover, Cyril's able to break through. And, and while Beyond has done a great job of not dying, he's still a long way off actually turning this in towards a victory. Another group of Banelings. He is running out of resources, as is the constant reminder. You do run out of- Oh, he neuroparasites a ghost and tries to EMP the other ghosts and, and doesn't quite nail it, but uh, I applaud the effort. Oh, he's gonna- you know, Another attempt at an EMP, but yeah, not quite on the mark. Still, though, with a nice blinding cloud on a couple of the tanks and a whole bunch of banelings rolling through, Serral's war of attrition. He's lost so much. Nearly 10,000 more minerals, but he's mined 17,000 more. 4,000 more gas, but he's mined 5,000. In addition. More Nidises to transfer around, as long as not all parts of the network are destroyed. Well, if all parts of the network are destroyed, everything is deleted. All right, there's no backup file there. If you kill the network and all the worms, it's gone. It's gone forever, okay? No Zerg Restore. Which is one of the most creative ways to throw the game. But I doubt Cyril's going to find himself in that position. Once again, Beyond holds the high ground. But Cyril, at this point, you might consider just yanking him down. Well, one blinding cloud, a whole bunch of tanks siege up. Can he hold the line? The ghosts fall back. The Banelings roll through yet again. The tanks being overrun. And the ghosts are chased down almost to the end of the map. And again, Beyond holds. And again, we ask the question. With 98 more Zerglings in production, already 750 have died. But does it matter? As Cyril is inevitable. Beyond has actually managed to... Uh, Cyril's already mined some of this base. There is still gas, but that's not particularly relevant for either player right now. And still, with those basic units, not even that much creep spread here. Just a constant and unending swarm of Zerglings, Banelings, and Hydralisks. Cyril, this could be it. There's... The end's leaving a few of the ghosts here. There is no detection. So that could spell disaster. He steals some of the tanks. The blinding cloud eliminates the rest. A textbook execution as Cyril finishes him. Oh. Well, at the end of the day, Cyril looking like himself indeed at no point did it really feel like beyond made any progress a lesser player would have died to any one of those attacks but arguably there are no greater players who could show us how to turn it around <sighs> i don't know how you follow that up that was about as and honestly i feel like the roach ravager in I, I, that that kind of felt like Cyril limit testing a bit. I don't know if he legitimately likes that style more as an opener, but he did fall back to the classic Lingbane Hydra, and he did use it to crush. But that's why we play best of, well, whatevers. One game doesn't define the inter... Well, a game like that I do feel kind of defines the uh, status of the two players. But, well, we'll see if we change our opinions. Oh, that was... Well, that was a Serral match. You signed up for a Serral game, okay? You made it this far. You're even watching. Well, maybe be able to turn it around. I would love to see the Reapers. I kind of want to see how, how Serral defends against them. Uh, it was a pull first in the in the previous match, but here we see just a hatch and beyond. Not trying the three racks reaper. Um, he's just gonna go with 
the standard? Well, actually, that's a command center first. Okay, all right. So, going the other end of the spectrum with it, the Eco Greed. Command center first, actually more defensible against most pool first builds that aren't all in because you already have the command center done before the Zerglings show up. But of course, it's not pool first. No Zerglings are going to show up particularly early. Bit of a macro game so far. What, what? So Cyril saw the timing. He saw the timing. Did he see the reactor? He didn't. I don't think he cares. Oh, it's a roach all in. Wow. Ooh. Not... I've, I've asked this many times. Are you allowed to just get away with the Greek? A lot of Zerg players have just... decided that it, it's better to... Just macro yourself. Like, like, build another hatch. Get a ton of drones. Realize your opponent is not going to be able to put any pressure on. At least particularly early. Because they went command center first. But, there's always that question of... When your opponent does not scout. And they go command center first. And Beyond has not scouted. No SCV scout, no nothing. Can you just punch them in the face, kick down their door, take their lunch money, and even be even more important, their prize money? Which is probably more, especially with these two. Um, there's no bunker. There's been no attack. Like, it, there's going to be a lot of Marines. But this is quite a committed sales at 21 drowns. This has to do some damage. But with no bunker, I think it's guaranteed to do something. Question is how much. All right. Well. Not going to be quite walled off, though a wall might be a liability. Ah! <laughs> well. Beyond going to try to hold his ground. Several depots. Unfortunately, this is going to supply block Beyond. Immediately, he canceled Stiff. In order to get concussive shot. That's how seriously he's taking this. Oh, 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 the Ravager Morph. Micros out of the biles. Looking good. The Ravager count is so damn high, though. Oh, and a double depot. He had to get some supply. But Cyril. Ah. Oh. Usually I wouldn't say he's making it look easy, but he's making it look easy. Like, he just killed him. Hey, don't scout. You go command center first. No bunker. He just can't get away with that. None of that. I, I mean, the Marauders are kind of helping. But Cyril is droning behind us. Like, at this point, he's done enough damage. Like, he's target firing down the SCVs. A mule drops. He was trying to block the Ravagers in with a mule. Gonna kill both the Marauders here. Ah, well, <laughs> yeah, that answers the, the question of, huh. Now, unfortunately, I don't think be unwalled in his siege tanks and had 10 of them to draw on this time around. Well, that was concise. Honestly, Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face by a bunch of Ravagers. Cyril just walked up and killed him. Wow. Wow. Well, no mercy. He's got other games to play today. I think Cyril ended up playing like 10 different series in the Basilisk bouts. So congratulations to Basilisk on their uh, cold-blooded northern killer. Uh, Cyril just outclassing Beyond here today in this best of three. Well, um, thank you for watching. It's over. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hope I made a little bit of your day a little bit better. Good luck, have fun. Thank you. Stay tuned.